I don't think most people have any clue how fast robotics is moving and how many companies are working in that space and what's going on. So I do think that robotics is going to be huge. And then consumer hardware is another, the infusion of this stuff into not only your phones, but into glasses and other ways we're going to interact. So you have Google and Apple, OpenAI is obviously making a big push into hardware. So that's going to be key. And then two other ones just on the technology front, Mike, is frontier models on device as the models become more efficient. So even we saw, we'll talk about Gemini 3 Flash that came out. But I, I think what Apple is doing is making a bet that the frontier models of today will be able to be served up on device mm -hmm. without having to go to the cloud. And so while all of Apple's missteps and embarrassments related to being unable to figure out this AI thing for the last couple of years and Surrey still not being useful and things like that, I think there's a reasonable chance that the, within the next 12 months, they find a way to serve up very, very powerful models on the device itself, which means you can have high degrees of privacy and control without having to go out to the cloud and go out to ChatGPT for inference or Google Gemini. And imagine like a very efficient version of Google Gemini living within your phone and being able mm -hmm. to, and now all of a sudden we achieve what we envisioned for Surrey basically. And so I think that's going to become a key thing. And then just continued progress toward AGI and beyond and just 